It's hard to believe it's almost August. In Evansville, Indiana, school starts on August 10th, a little early if you ask me. But it's never too early to talk about the August releases from Penguins, Berkeley, Prime Crime, and Obsidian. Thirteen of them this month. Ellery Adams kicks off the book chat with Murder in the Paperback Parlor, the new book retreat mystery. Jane Stewart has high hopes for her Valentine's Day retreat, a week of activities held at Storyton Hall for fans of love stories. But someone isn't a fan of celebrated author Rosamund York. When the author is killed, Jane and her book club catalog the list of suspects to find a killer. Reese Bowen's Royal Spinous Mystery, Queen of Hearts, is now available in paperback. This time, Lady Georgiana Rannick voyages across the Atlantic with her much-married actress mother, who is seeking a quick Reno divorce. But it's a voyage that ends in Hollywood and the death of a movie mogul. Movies, murder, and romance. Perfect for her royal spiness. Jinx showed up just in time for the mysteries that are debuts this month. We have two. The first is Better Homes and Corpses, by Kathleen Bridge. It's the first Hampton Home and Garden mystery. Meg Barrett's starting her own interior design business, but a visit to Jillian, her college roommate, and her swanky home in the Hamptons shows her the life style of the wealthy, but also the way they die. They're murdered, or at least Jillian's mother is killed, and the family is hiding dangerous secrets. Here's another series debut, Peg Cochran's Buried Secrets. The first Cranberry Cove mystery introduces Monica Albertson, who intends to help her half-brother Jeff with the harvest on his cranberry farm. But when Jeff becomes a prime suspect in a murder, Monica and her stepmother try to save the farm and find a killer. Don't you love Teresa Fasolino's cover for Daryl Wood Gerber's new mystery, Fudging the Books? Jenna Hart, owner of the Cookbook Nook Bookstore, is celebrating February with Pirate Week and National Chocolate Month. But when a cookbook editor ends up dead, Jenna will also have to find time for a murder investigation. Backing up a little, just so you can see the two stars of today's book chat. Jinx showed up, and then came Josh. Now, if we only have room for the books on the table. A Dish Best Served Cold is Rosie Genova's new Italian kitchen mystery. At the Casa Lido on the Jersey Shore, writer Vic Rienzi and her family are preparing for the restaurant's 70th anniversary celebration when an old friend, Pete, stops in with stories of a relative who mysteriously disappeared back in Italy. The night of the restaurant's party brings a crowd, a hurricane, and Pete's body. Vic isn't sure his death was an accident, so she decides to do a little digging. Mary Kennedy brings back the members of Savannah George's Dream Club in Dreams a Little Scream. C celebrity chef Sonia Scott made plenty of enemies in her career, including Etta Mae Beasley, the newest member of the Dream Club. Etta Mae claims Sonia stole her family recipes, so she's a natural suspect when Sonia's death at a book signing is suspicious. Now, the Dream Club has to, has to determine if one of their own members is a killer. The new Chili Cook-Off mystery by Kylie Logan is Revenge of the Chili Queens. Maxie and Sylvia head to San Antonio for a chili showdown, dressing as the city's historical chili queens to raise money for charity. But when a friend, head of security for the showdown, becomes a murder suspect, Maxie and Sylvia turn up the heat on a killer. Instead, it's her beloved daughter who ends up dead. Nora is eager to investigate in between a few of her own family issues. Murder on the Horizon is the new search and rescue mystery by M. L. Rowland. It's more than just the threat of wildfire that endangers a tiny mountain community. Gracie Kincaid and her search and rescue teammates 
find a trash bag containing human body parts. Soon after, Gracie's growing friendship with a young runaway leads her into the hate-filled world of his family, a group of extremists. As wildfire roars, Gracie finds herself caught up in an explosive plot that could destroy countless lives. I shamelessly admit I'm addicted to Paige Shelton's cooking school mysteries. In If Onions Could Spring Leaks, summer tourists are flocking to Broken Rope, Missouri. When a spectral visitor appears by ghost train, only country cooks and teachers, Bets Winston and Graham, can handle that appearance. While Graham has nightmares about their ghostly visitor's death, there's also a death in town. One of the volunteers, known for having a few ex-wives, is murdered. Now the pair of amateur sleuths have a double mystery on their hands. In Leanne Sweeney's The Cat, The Sneak, and The Secret, a kleptomaniac kitty ends up unearthing a deadly mystery. Before Jillian Hart and Tom marry, they want to make sure Tom's stepson, Finn, is comfortable in their new home. So when it's obvious Finn has fallen for a pretty cat at the animal sanctuary, they quickly agree to make room for one more, although the cat is a notorious thief. She's brought back trinkets, shoelaces, and socks. And then she brings back an antique locket. Their search for the owner is sidetracked when a body is found. But the sneaky cat's find might lead to a killer. And the final one, number 13, is Diane Valeri's mystery, Crushed Velvet. Fabric shop owner Polyester Monroe is back in business, stocking up on lush fabrics for opening day of Material Girl. But one delivery is not what she expected. It's 90% silk and 10% corpse. And the corpse leaves one of Polly's close friends a widow and the prime suspect. Join me and a slew of amateur sleuths for August Mysteries from Penguins, Berkeley Prime Crime and Obsidian. Enjoy!